What's up dudes? Chooch, back with another one. Today I'm on the InMotion V12 High Torque. Now this is the wheel from InMotion that has really impressed me a lot. Y'all have heard that. And now I'm going to be going on a trail ride where I'm really going to be pushing this thing, going up a mountain. And with the high torque wheel you can really tell uh, where, where the torque shines is getting on these trails that have just that steady incline on it over a, a long you know a long distance and it just has that steady steep grade to it this thing is really fun because it's a smaller wheel 16 inch diameter wheel with that extremely powerful motor in there and so it just gets this effect man when you're going up those hills just like it, it just feels like you're peeling out going up the hills it just man it really does it feels like it has enough power at any given time to where you could you could seriously break traction on it. So you're riding this thing, going up the hills and on the trails or whatnot, seriously with enough power right there on the edge of breaking loose of traction, which is awesome because you want to have enough that that amount of power. Like that really is the sweet spot of power. I mean, if you didn't if you couldn't get up to that, that's what you would want to get up to is being able to on demand. Uh, be able to power into it and break traction if you wanted to but also be able to ride on that sweet spot where you're really not quite breaking traction but having a ton of fun going really really fast having the ultimate amount of maneuverability on this thing it really does shine on trails like this guys so the trails where there's not a lot of like extreme bumps coming up in a minute you're gonna see a section where um, it was just a lot of bumps, and that was really, really the only time on this whole trail where I really was thinking this was a section where I need suspension badly. There was only maybe like half a football field worth of trail and a day of riding in this particular scenario where I was like, hey, I really need suspension on this wheel. Now that's that's good because I ride in places a lot that would arguably need suspension and a lot of people would say hey you probably need a suspension unicycle for that but you can definitely tell man with an in motion v12 high torque even with it being a 16 inch wheel if you bend your knees you um, you know adapt your body posture to what you're riding you can really work with this thing guys and it's only those back-to-back -back bumps at high speed like those back-to-back -back, like washboard style bumps um, on the trails those are the only ones that are just where your knees can't keep up with it. Like your, your body and your knees just can't keep up with it. But this far and few between um, where you'll actually have that scenario. So I think the InMotion V12 is, I mean, it's that's why I say it's a great all-around wheel. And that's why I love trail riding this wheel. I had some people, um, when I first started riding the InMotion V12, they were like, well, why are you even riding a 16-inch wheel on trails and whatnot? Like, like thinking that the only wheel you can ride on trails is a 20 inch or 18 inch wheel. And I was like, I couldn't even fathom why the hell they were saying that. I was like, what do you, like, what do you mean? Like, what, like, what do you mean why would you ride a 16 inch wheel on a trail? Because it's fun. It's a ton of fun. And the thing is, with trail riding on a smaller wheel, it feels like you're going faster. And for me in particular, like, I'm really, I'm not trying to get from point A to point B in any type of particular time frame out here just trail riding I'm out here for just to have fun and the in motion v12 once you get your tire pressure right and once you get used to it guys once you get used to it if you're coming from like an 18 inch wheel that has you know a meteor tire on it and um, just more substance to the tire then or either suspension and then you go to this it's just going to be different man and getting used to it Y'all saw that first video, the first day I got this when I crashed so bad, man. It's just because I, I wasn't used to it. Now, I feel so confident on this wheel, man. I know the limits of it. I know exactly, like, like I have never even, like, that first day where I had that cutoff, guys, it was 100% because I didn't have my tire pressure right. I literally had the tire pressure, like, blown, inflated way too high, and that was the whole cause of that crash, straight up. And now that I've gotten it adapted and gotten used to this thing, man, that would never happen again. Straight up. Like, I know exactly the boundaries of this thing. It's a safe wheel. Um, it does exactly what it need, needs to do. 
and this is definitely like the thing is with these electric unicycles is that you get used to the one you're riding a lot and that's so hard because I like to take two with me I like like for instance I had the EXN and then the Inmotion V12 high torque on this particular trip right here and what I'll do is I'll go ride like all morning long on one wheel and then I'll take the other one back to like the hotel or whatever I'll drop that one off put it on the charger and then I'll go ride the other wheel um, that I took with me as well and the big big thing you notice man because I was going from this one to the EXN from the EXN to this one back and forth and you get used to it man but ideally you want to get one wheel that you rock with and just stick with it man so like if you can find one wheel you really love you really really like and just stick with it and keep riding that wheel and that wheel only you will get incredibly incredibly good on it and way confident on it because you know exactly the pedal height you know exactly when those pedals are going to scrape on rocks you know um, how how quick it breaks you know how quick it accelerates you know everything about the wheel and it takes for me because i've been riding the exn and the v12 high torque so much um i can swap and within a few minutes kind of get kind of get um adapted quickly to either one of them but man i'm telling you the way to do it is literally get one wheel you mesh with one wheel you love and hey if you got to get two of the same wheels um, you're just going to be, it's just a huge weight difference, ride dynamic, different tires, different pedals. Like from on my EXN, I have the Clark pedals. On this one, I have the stock pedals. And it's just a huge thing to get used to um, when you switch. Because now, on the V12, like not having spiked pedals, and then having spiked pedals on the EXN, man, that's one huge thing to get used to in itself. Um, so that's just what i've noticed a lot man it's so so much with these wheels is just getting used to whichever one you pick all of them are great i literally don't have the electric unicycle like on any of these pages that i wouldn't have a good time on, straight up but they're all different and good for different unique things uh the in motion v12 high torque i can absolutely say man like this wheel is fun, dude. Straight up. It is it is so much fun. It is it is just a blast. That's the only thing I can say, man. And I know a lot of people, one of the big questions that like I'm getting a lot like right now in the comments and all that is like, well, hey, should I go with the high torque or should I go with the high speed of the InMotion V12? And I've pretty much been saying the same thing to everybody, guys. If you live in a city where there's fast-moving traffic, I'm talking about like Miami, like um, some parts of New York, like some parts of um, like just fast moving traffic, you know what I mean, where it's not gridlocked downtown and people are actually on it, like moving fast in the city, go with the high speed v, uh, V12 because you're going to need to get out of the way of other cars quickly sometimes. And the one bad thing about the high torque wheel is having that limited top end speed of 38 miles an hour on this one. See, 38 miles an hour is a lot when you're on trails and on dirt, riding around and whatnot. 38 miles an hour is not a lot when you're around other cars in the city and everything. So that's why I say if you're in a flat city, a f predominantly flat city with fast-moving traffic, get the InMotion V12 high speed. If you're somewhere like San Francisco, if you're in Seattle, if you're anywhere with good trails around, if you're anywhere where there is elevation in the land, seriously, get the high torque one. If you're on flat ground and other people around you are moving 40 miles an hour plus, you need to get the high speed V12, straight up. That's it. And that solves the whole problem right there. That is, that solves it all and that's what I'd say. If I was going to go city ride, like going in a, in a populated city automobiles all around i would definitely want the high speed v12 but for this type of stuff man i go i go for the high torque every time pretty much now i really don't even ride my high speed v12 very much but if i was going on a city ride i would grab it so this is just where i'm predominantly like, like doing my riding and i know a lot of people don't predominantly ride on stuff like this a lot of people use it to commute to get to work and whatnot 
this is that section I was telling you about. It's just bumpy. Look at that, dude. So, like, if you went into that with just straight, stiff legs and just tried to ride it just like I just did on that, you would crash. So that just shows right there. Like, if you're a rider that does not want to adapt to that and does not want to, want to you know, go with the learning process, um, it's not hard, dude. It's just bending your knees and learning how the machine works and whatnot develops core strength and really is not bad. Um, and you saw that. That was the one time of this whole ride where it was like, oh, shit, <laughs> you need suspension right there. Like, I can definitely say that. And, like, in a suspension wheel, would cruise straight through that section back there, no problem. But I wanted to point that out to show y'all. Um, you do have to bend your knees and work with this machine in some scenarios. Uh, more so than you would with, a, uh, like, the Vigo Master or the S22. But stuff like this, you see, just a, a few casual knee bends, whatnot, you know? No problem. No problem for this little thing. And it shreds, man. This thing is so much more fun than one of the big EUCs on trails. Any day, dude. It's so much more fun than the big EUCs on the trails. Anyways, dudes. It's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up. I will see you dudes in the next one. Like that low end torque is just gnarly on this thing. So, both the high speed and the high torque V12 are in stock. Links below. E-Wheels is stellar with the V12s, guys, and if you use my link below to get it through E-Wheels, it gives me a small kickback and lets me go to cool rides and buy hotels and bring y'all cool content. I'll see you dudes in the next one.